Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm John and today we've got an epic adventure in the snow. This is snow unlike any we see on the East Coast regularly. You're about to watch us battle through some of the craziest conditions I've ever seen on the East Coast. Multiple recoveries, winching through snow that is up to our bumpers, stuck sideways in ditches, and more. We're heading into Davis in Tucker County, West Virginia. This is a familiar area to the channel. We've been here on several previous adventures, but this one is like no other. It's going to be a wild day. I'm headed into Davis about 15 minutes out from our rendezvous point, and visibility is fluctuating between like 500 feet and 300 feet just with the wind blowing and all the snow. It's like uh, blizzard conditions, even though I'm not even sure it's snowing. I can kind of see like above the, the dust of snow that the sky is kind of blue and uh you know 20 miles back the sky was perfectly blue and beautiful uh, although you could see a lot of areas where it was uh kind of overcast like it was snowing or probably doing what, uh, whatever it is i'm in right now so i'm uh, gonna keep my eyes on the road here and get to the rendezvous austin and his girlfriend, Dean, and his wife are close behind me. And I will meet up at the coffee shop here and head out. Hopefully, everything goes well. But as we know, the best memories are not formed from everything going according to plan and perfectly. So, uh, hey, we might be in for a long day. That's fine. top coffee in Thomas and I just had a delicious pour over coffee super smooth perfect temperature pretty much guzzled that down and I'm just here waiting for Austin and the others to show up they said they are fueling up at the gas station where I got pepperoni rolls and uh, they should be walking in here any minute now it's looking prime out there I cannot wait to go out and hit some trails the barista here was telling me that the uh, Canadian Valley, Canadian Loop, that area uh, has 18 inches of fresh powder. Uh, that sounds amazing. So uh, we might head there first. I'm not sure. Austin kind of planned at least a rough route for us and uh, he does not suck at that. So I left that up to him um, as I have in the past when he comes along. So we're um, gonna find some snow for sure. We are going to be using traction boards, we're going to be using winches, we're going to be using yankum rope, no doubt. So, at least for me, because of Ridge Grapplers, but yeah, I'm airing down, way down, I'm loaded up on fuel, I've got plenty of snacks and food, plenty of water, it should be an awesome time. I think we're going to be out in this well into dark, because it's almost noon now. So, uh, yeah, wish us luck, it's going to be fun. Good 
so you're the anchor thing. Huh? I am going to be the anchor thing. Well, I'm just going to, I'll be like, you know, my tail, I guess. You go in front, and uh, when we see that ball disappear, you know, you know we're fun. about to have fun. It's Yeah, it's deep. Is that right. Depth gauge. You yeah, got a solid oh, track Wait, I didn't think oh, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah What's a sweet mod? Yeah, man. <laughs> I did that in a parking lot, and I wasn't even. That's how skilled I am. Look at that. Love that. All right, we're going to make a right out here on 219. Well, we're going to make a left. This is the one way. Well, we're gonna make a left and then make a right back here that side because you know it's a circle. Uh, we go that way to go that way. Yeah, go that way. Then we go that way. Just because we like driving in snow. It's snow. And then there's we make not, a left. There's not that many cars out. We could add to the adventure. You know, if we go fast enough, we won't be able to stop, and they'll have to move for us. That'll work. Now you think that? Yeah, it's moving perfect. All right. Definitely made the right call coming to Davis today. Oh yeah, this is a slam dunk. It's the most major highway for probably 30 miles. Yeah, and I can barely make out pavement through the uh, attempt at plowing. Oh, look, that's road. <clears throat> that one hasn't been touched in a little while. I don't think anything we're going to go after is going to be touched at all. We can hope. We are plowing fresh tracks right now. Oh, it looks like we continue plowing fresh tracks. Yay! Ditches deeper than it looked. I just had the brakes and I was like, I oh, will have a snow farm there, I'll be okay. And I thought, oh, it wasn't even there. Oh, look, there's a little bit of snow farm there. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hmm. John, do you want to try to rectify that? Yeah, okay. You're gonna have to steer into it hard to get up and then bounce across the other direction. And cut, 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 cut and go, cut and go, cut and go, cut and go. So my camera is level here and my Jeep is not. And it looks like this ditch gets a lot deeper in a minute. Hey buddy, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a wild day with this. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, it was Recovery number one already happening. On a downhill, no less. On a downhill. I didn't think that was gonna be a thing, but here we are. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been in snow to that point. That's like almost burying my headlight. Listen to the trees, dude cracking and dumping snow. <laughs> he did. Everything's fine. You didn't have to pile driver it. Oh, right in the thorns. Yeah, not just any Jesus, but holy Jesus. Dear Lord, baby Jesus. Eight pounds, six ounces. <laughs> It's a nice tree. I like that tree. I wonder where it's tied. Weird bark. Yeah, it is. Strap. Got, got, uh... got some dead branches up there. 
since we got the new place in the wood stove, I've been getting into like identifying, <laughs> and I have no idea what that is. Uh, so that's two loops. I can back up a little bit. Well, we need to either pass that end through this one, or we need another soft yeah, shackle. Do that side. All right, that's a bit bigger than that. Ring toss. <laughs> Next time I'll catch it with my head. So how stretchy is this uh, stretchy discount? Stretchy enough to make me uh, think some stuff. It's supposed to be a bubble rope. Or, or not a bubble rope. <laughs> but it's but like... You know I mean. Yeah. Austin's over here doing curls with it. <laughs> is it really that soft? No. You know something I'm gonna wanna do? Wave our head up Yeah. I know. Oh, this feels bad. <laughs> It's the only bad thing about synthetic that I found is it likes to freeze. <laughs> this is obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of strap. Well, we have to. Be all right. Thanks. All right, traction boards, winch line. Snatch block, winch, anchor, let's give it. I'm gonna climb back in my Jeep now and hopefully not have to climb back out this way. Oh, X2s are too small for this. Okay. Let's hope this works. Not a good scene. Hold on. Stay. Need some slack. Hang on. Good. Here you. Okay. Cancel. Okay. Send. John, go ahead. Go. Once his okay. wheel gets up. All right, go ahead and back. Dean, go. He won't be able to do it unless I give him room. Stop. John, I want you to go forward. We're not going to remove the winch. We're just going to try to get your front end to come up, okay? Hard right, hard right, as much as you can. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. You said let out cable? No, no, just stay out of the winch line. Oh. Front. Yeah, right, right, right. Back up, keep your wheels right where they're at. Give me a little bit of slack. Down forward now. Hard right. Yeah. Stop. Back up right where you're at, Dean. Thank you. Hey! Hey! There we go, everybody. 
Now I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Turn real sharp and go go forward. I'm gonna let you let a look. Back up, back up, stop. Yeah. Back up. Yep. Three point turn. There you go. You're good now. <laughs> All right. You're in charge of your own. Uh, what's it called? Draft this time now. <laughs> the other one's like wedged oh, up over <laughs> my transfer case. Right there on my drive shaft. Oh, it's right here next to it. Okay. It's just buried. There you go. <laughs> Keep those in the back of the Jeep. Yeah, I'm put it back on the roof. What? I'm not going to put it back on the roof. Well, that was fun. I'm going to stay center of the road now and uh, be very cautious about any dropping off of the level track so I just wasn't really concerned thinking you know there's a berm of snow and how deep is the ditch even you know I'll be able to crawl out of it well when the ditch is deeper than half your tire there's not a whole lot of getting out of it yourself so recovery was successful and we are back moving again. This is a really cool route and uh, Austin still cutting track as we go here. It is proper cold. This is like what winter should be. Uh, three degrees, fluffy powder. You don't get this on the East Coast very often, and it is really pretty cool. Pennsylvania, where I live, it's super, super rare to get anything in the single digits and have fresh snow. So almost always when it snows, it warms up and you get a wet, heavy snow, or maybe a kind of fluffy snow. And then a couple days later, it's warm, warm enough to start melting the snow. Sun comes out. 35 degrees or more and the snow starts going away so uh it's pretty cool to have these conditions but i would consider something a little bit closer to what you'd see out west but uh having that here it's a nice treat Well, Dean's depth indicator ball has not touched snow yet, but we are almost to diffs on you 37 inch boys.
falling off that's what i'm concerned with because that's where that that hole i'm talking about was on the left on the left you see where that bump is on the right yeah that was super deep before we straddled it and i fell into it and then i took out a mirror yep. so now we're gonna lean yeah. into it you harm somewhere i don't remember you taking out a mirror didn't break it folded oh. it and scraped the crap out of it yeah got it yeah Yeah, it seemed like uh, you just made that more than it was. Probably. It's been known to happen. It's washed in, unfortunately. I'm thinking, okay, so this, ride that. That's solid. Well, yeah, but you got to keep it through it enough. Yeah, you just got to keep it a little momentum it, so you don't. Yeah, because if you to crawl into that, it's just gonna go boot right yeah. over there. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it might be okay to just crawl it and stay high over there. Hopefully, there's enough of a rut high right. that it kind of hooks your tire and keeps you in it. I mean, hard to know. It's, it's yeah, but, it's, <laughs> but it's not slopey. It's sort of, it's sort of flat. About to drop, and now dropping. It nice. felt worse than it was. Oh yeah. Straight out. Yeah, you're, you're good.
This was such an incredibly fun and beautiful trail in the snow. The snow continued to fall and pile up, but traction was not a problem for us. At least, not on this trail. The best part about this whole day was just having the three of us back together again. It's been way too long since Austin, Dean, and I have hit a trail together in our Jeeps. Of course, I had just made the comment over the radio that I never see other jeepers out on these trails, only ever side-by-sides or quad riders, and then this happens. We got oncoming traffic here, and uh, it looks like they've got a bigger group than we do. Be interesting to see if we've got room to get off the trail, or the ability to get off the trail, really. Yeah, let's not turn this into a recovery mission on their account. Easy, easy, easy does it. it. Looks from here like he's got room and he's already moving, so. Dean and I are both clear, I believe. Could you see how many they have? Um, uh, I don't. It looks like <laughs> Have fun! See four four in Yeah, I saw four. They got have room. Jesus Christ, good this is just maybe on the driver's lap of the fuel park. Nice. We are good to go. They're all clear. These are some small rigs. <laughs> yeah, he's like two. This is why I love letting Austin plan the route. 
While I've been all over Tucker County, West Virginia, somehow I haven't been on any of these roads so far. And they are some of the most spectacular roads in this county, especially with these conditions. We got a few glimpses of the sun, but the snow is just dumping down all over. This road was exceptionally sketchy because it is downhill and windy, but at least there's a good bit of snow pushed up against the guardrail. Thankfully, nobody did what I did on the first road and slid off. Mike, we're going straight into the darker part of the sky here too, which will be interesting. on gravel and up cloud. Believe it or not, these are all wide open and public county roads or forest service roads. If you're interested in following any of my tracks from this or other adventures, you can join up on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash dirtroadtherapy. If any member of Patreon, you get a special discount on Onyx Off-Road. You get a special discount on DRT merch. I'll send you my GPS tracks by request. And for VIP patrons, I'm planning some trips this year. Where we're going to go overlanding together. <laughs> it's so good to have this whole crew back together again. It's been probably almost two years since the three of us went wheeling. So this is perfect conditions, perfect day, perfect group. I love it. I'm having so much fun out here. Snow's flying. It's deep. We're cutting through it. into the forest here. It's a uh, section we were just in was recently logged and this section has not been logged real recently.
think we can just push that left one out of the way? Yeah, it's just hanging from a uh, vine. We might even just kind of be able to pivot it 180 and it'll just hang from the vine, but off the trail. I don't know. I'll give it a shot. You can't hear any audio from my dash cam here, but I just dumped a pile of snow down my back, and it is about three degrees outside, so that was refreshing and hilarious to anyone else watching. I don't know what if it was the terrible tires or just the conditions, but these ditches really liked me and they did not want to let me go. Thankfully I was able to implement the front locker and pull myself out of this one without too much trouble. We we're heading into attempt doing Canadian Loop and uh Conditions back in here are extremely wintry. There is, it feels like more snow on the trees than anywhere else we've been, but obviously it's been plowed, uh, the part that we're on right now. So we're not to the uh, four by four only route yet. We did just pass another group of very capable looking Jeeps and Toyotas. So it is, there's a good possibility that uh, they came through the other direction so likely we're not going to be breaking trail to run Canadian Loop this late in the day, but might still be worth doing. We'll make that call when we get to the, uh, the unmaintained portion of the road. It's really pretty back there. Yeah, it's a cool time of day to do it too. Yeah. It's crazy how different the snow is in this area compared to everywhere else. Not only is it deeper and fluffier, but it just feels completely different to drive in. And we really have no idea what we're getting into on this trail. This is me getting completely rerouted unintentionally. I didn't steer here, it's just the trail saying, you're gonna go left now. Quite possibly a sign of things to come. Stuck. 
Albert is plowing in that stuff. I'm a really big fan of these tires. I fell on your ruts, Austin. This is really, really deep and pretty heavy snow. I am up to the bottom of my bumper in the rear there. Unfortunately, the way the trail is crowned here, I slid. And that's awkwardly steep going off that little shoulder there. Uh, I'm gonna try traction boards to get moving again, but uh, I'm just spinning all four tires here. See if traction boards can kind of get me crawling again. You all good? Yeah. I'm good. I'm just waiting on John. Okay. Okay. I'm struggling to get out. Yeah, these tires suck. I'm first gear and low. Let's just try to crawl it up here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, come on. Uh, all right, back up and snap it a little bit here. I'm in second now, so I'm gonna spin tires as soon as I see you moving. Go ahead. All right, I'm off. Oh, baby, go. Come on. All right, snap it again. We got it this time. I feel it. Go. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'm totally good now. I gotta go back and find my traction boards, though. Got himself in a little bit of a situation here. This is kind of the last obstacle on Kanane. And he tried to stick to the right, I'm guessing, because that's where I told him to go. Nice. Yeah. How about them tires, though? That was awesome. Are you fully live, Austin?
driver and forward, but I'm not sure that it's going to pull out. Stop. up the ledge. <laughs> it's just not traction to be found. There's no way I've got this. <laughs> Just stay far right. Broke up, boy. I don't want to hear your shit. Okay. All right, sir. Ready to go? In reverse, ready to go. Three, two, one, go. We were using an inexpensive kinetic recovery rope that Dean had earlier in the day, and this time we were using my Yankum rope. Another! It's incredible to feel the difference of how much more controlled stretch the Yankum rope had in comparison to the budget rope. Recovered. Use my link below if you guys are considering purchasing a Yankum rope because it does help support the channel. Well, I made it to the town of Davis. That's where we're going to end this episode tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the episode, you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, get notified, and all of those good things. I really appreciate all of your support. Last year, in 2023, we gained over 2,000 subscribers, and I think we can more than double that this year. I My goal is going to be 10,000 subscribers in 2024. I think we can do that with your help. Make sure you share an episode, tell your friends, and comment, like, all those things to let the algorithm know to keep pushing out this content. Before we get back on the highway, we'll of course need to find a spot to air up and fuel up, but either way, we're going to have some great adventures. And I'm happy to have you guys along for the ride. I'll see you next time.